Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create this really cool video montage collage effect. I'm going to be uploading every single day for the rest of the month, so make sure you guys hit subscribe and leave a like as well. Let's hop right into this. So I started off inside of Premiere Pro here. You guys could use After Effects, but I just found it a little bit easier to use Premiere. What I did was I took an ASAP Rocky music video and took a couple clips from it. And what I did is I had them going back and forth from going forwards and then reversing them forwards, reversing them. And it just created this kind of like parallax effect of going back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. After creating a bunch of pretty much GIFs going back and forth, I then opened them up inside of After Effects and created a new composition. Now it's very important that you make this composition size very specific. So what I did is I took the scale 1920 by 1080 for the height at 1080 I times it by five which gave me 5400 now once I had my composition at 5400 as you guys can see it was really tall so then what I did is I brought my gif videos inside of the montage and I scaled them up to fit and over time I just created some new ones nested them inside of Premiere brought them inside of After Effects lined them up added a crop to them keyed them out in certain ways to make them unique I tried to line them up as cool as possible to give them a really unique montage effect now, I took a lot of time with this I then decided to mask out certain things to give them a unique look and duplicate them now for this one I decided to be a lot more creative. I actually cut out a star around this and put it inside. I thought it looked really cool, but I thought if I went ahead and duplicated that star, twisted it, and then added keyframes of it going in and out, in and out, and then for the star on top of it, had it rotating. I thought that really added a really unique effect to it. I just continuously brought images in and lined them up and put them in unique ways. As you guys can see here, it's just me playing around with them. I highly recommend you guys make this unique to yourself and just mess around with it. There's so many ways you can be creative with this. So then I went inside of Photoshop here and I created a bunch of black lines that I was going to use as barriers for in between each video what i then did is i went over to filter distort this place and open the displacement map now i'll have this linked in the description below for you guys for absolutely free if you want to go grab it it's basically just going to make everything a lot dirtier and more texturized as you can see then i ran it through one more time and changed the horizontal and vertical scale of 30 instead of 10 and it gave me a lot more distressed distorted look i took that and then brought it inside of after effects and then keyed out the one i wasn't going to use so we we're just going to use the top one there put it separating the two video clips just like so and then played around a little bit more moving them around i brought a couple other things in over time play with the scale of them then i created some text for asap rocky play with it a little bit tried to get it lined up and looking nice i decided on putting it in the bottom right corner and then put a blur on it just to add that vintage look to it and then i decided on one last gif i was going to create and bring inside i thought it'd be really cool to key this one out and put it in the bottom right corner and line it up i thought it looked super cool there having it go in and out and i thought everything was looking great everything was blended super well i love the way this montage effect looked and then to really bring it to life what i did was i rendered it from after effects brought it back inside of premiere pro and then went to the very top of it key from the position and then went to the very end and brought the position all the way to the bottom so it just ran through from top the bottom and then went ahead and added dehancer on it which is a film plugin that i highly recommend it's honestly the best plugin to get your video looking like real life film I went inside it added a vintage lut to it turned on film grain halation and bloom just to give it that look and we had the finished product Creating this effect was super fun. I highly recommend you guys be super creative with it and bring your own ideas into it. Maybe even using some mixed media as well. I feel like that'd make it look so cool. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as well because I'm going to be uploading every single day for the rest of the month. See you guys in the next video. Peace.